Rivid Motorcycles. Which electric car would you rather have? This converted VW bus or the Porsche 356? The Jackrabbit e-bike. This is an electric truck revving. is an electric zero turn lawnmower. Let's take a look. So this is interesting. This is a solar landscaping company, or rather an electric landscaping company where everything in the fleet is electric. All the equipment and the, the car towing it. The 2024 BMW X5 XDrive 50e electric. I'll show you the plaque first and then we'll hop inside. So you can go rewind all that and watch that later. But let's get a first impression. Ooh. So right away, I wish the interior was two-tone, but that's not a big deal. We'll shut the music off so that we don't get flagged for copyright. So what do you think of this? Double sunroof. So I drove the Gas X5 maybe a week and a half ago, and it was an interesting car with the hulking V8 and I would like to compare this. I imagine it's much torquier, to state the obvious. But pretty much it's outfitted on the interior, almost identical to the gasoline X5. This is a little bit different down here. Anyways, put what you think of this in the comments.
This is the 2023 BMW 330e. Let's take a look inside. Sorry about the reggaeton music. I hate that too. But what are you going to do? We're in Miami. Ah. This is the 2024 i5 e drive electric 5 series BMW. Let's take a look. Show you the exterior real quick. And we'll hop inside. Ooh, very interesting interior color combination. Get the purple accent lights with burgundy seats. If you've ever wanted to check out the electric Volvo C40, today is the day. So right away, I hate the interior. It looks like a moving blanket. I've been an auto journalist for over a decade and I've never seen anything like that. That is really, really cheesy. Wow. The new electric VW bus. So you can't drive it around today because of the, the show? We have a back and forth for the show guys with the camera. I can show you when it moves. Yeah, could you please? So we're about to see a full-size remote control EV. <laughs> That is awesome. And then this smaller one down here can be operated anywhere on earth. You want to say who you are? Monster Kart. Monster Kart. You just Monster saw it, folks. Yep. All right, thank you.
So one of the things I always dislike about Tesla is the terribly lame color choices that they give you. They're so generic. Here in Miami, everyone picks white or black, white or black. So I love this guy's olive green one, custom color. And then over here, this turquoise one. So I am here at Electrify Expo with... Solarpunk Steve. And Solarpunk Steve is one of the first all electric landscaping companies in the entire country. Steve, how did you get the idea for this? Well, um, I wanted to start a business and first thing I could think of to get into is lawn care, but I wanted to do fully electric. I already had the, uh, already had the Tesla Model Y, and so I figured, you know what, I can tow the trailer with it, I can run all electric, I can install solar panels up top, and I can be off You, you have solar panels? I've got solar panels up top, what battery do, on board, and what? a charge up on the go. So the solar panels, what are they charging? Just anything that you want to charge right off the trailer? Yes. Yeah, so to they recharge it? Up, they charge up my onboard battery, and then... Wow, look at this. So of course we're here in sunny Florida. He doesn't need to wait long to get sunshine. Exactly. Like if you're out on the job, do you tend to need to recharge the equipment at the site? So I will, you know, mow two or three properties, put the mower in the trailer, plug it in, go out and blow off, clean up the properties, drive to the next ones. And by that time, the mower is already charged back up enough to where I can use it on the next set of properties. Now you were telling me it's not just your mower, it's 100% of your equipment yeah, is electric. Yeah, tow vehicle, uh, lawnmower, weed whacker, blower, everything. Even, even the leaf blower is electric. So what kind of customer hires you and do they go out of their way to hire you where you're all electric? Uh, some do, some are stay at home, um, you know, retirees, or they work from home, or they work on the night shift. So a lot of people are really interested in the quiet aspect of it, and that's, a that's the majority of my clientele. Now, as my viewers know, I used to run a tree company, and I had to do maintenance on the saws all the time. It was a pain, gas engines, tuning carburetors. What kind of issues do you have to deal with when you're maintaining strictly electric landscape power equipment? So the biggest risk is the batteries themselves, um, how long they might last. So far, I've been pretty lucky. Everything's working well, um, but I have had one die on me after a year and a half. Um, as far as maintenance goes, it's essentially keep the blades sharp, keep everything clean. Mm -hmm. I, no I, I see you have the fire extinguisher up there yeah, too. That's smart I, with I a bunch of lithium I, batteries. It's probably not going to do me much good. But. Um, no belts, no oil changes, no air filters, no uh, mixing fuels, none of that. No pull starting anything. Just put the battery in and you go. If you can, show us how you're towing this trailer because this is equal parts interesting. It's a landscaping company. Now, some people would say, why are you towing it with a car? I've actually done this myself. Before I had a truck, my first job I towed with my Volkswagen Jetta. But <laughs> yeah. this is significantly cooler. Do you ever have any problems towing with the Tesla? So far, no problems at all. Um, it's got plenty of torque to handle the, the trailer weight. You do have to be careful about how much weight you put forward in the trailer. Of course. Because um, it's only rated for 350 pounds on the tongue, but it can tow up to 3,500 pounds in the trailer. And I've had no trouble towing everywhere I go. If you don't mind me asking, are you able to charge your customers a premium because you're a silent business? That's a good question. A lot of people are still very motivated by cost of lawn care, but there are definitely those out there that are more interested in a quiet service and are willing to pay for premium. But I typically go after quality over quantity. So I'm always trying to be a nicer job than the next guy just to get clients that way. Smart. Any thoughts of franchising the business? There's some things in the works at the moment. Um, with some some large potential there but we'll see for right now just trying to get we'll we'll there. leave it at that yeah we'll leave it at that all right so we're going to wrap up showing this is his business and you operate where uh, in titusville florida all right folks that's solar punk lawn care an all electric solar powered landscaping company i love it all right thank you hey, thanks so much have a good one so we're here at electrify expo's test track and i am on a scooter by Synergy. Well, I need to pay attention to driving, but. 
We're at Electrify Expo in Miami, and today we're gonna show you a Synergy electric bike. This is actually my first time on an e-bike, so maybe we're gonna catch me crashing today because I'm gonna film while driving, you know, like a moron. All right, kickstand up. So these are the gears for the pedaling. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna use strictly the electric throttle here. There's my speedometer, <clears throat> and away we go. Don't try this at home. I only have one hand for the brake. Nice suspension on it. And I'm gonna wrap up filming before I die. Cable on the G4, fully internal cabling on the G4i plus and the G4i. Um, mechanical shifting. We've got a three-speed Bosch. Uh, I'm sorry, three-speed Bosch. Three-speed Shimano Nexus. Ah, of course. End. Yeah, the bike a, company. It's a yeah. Nexus rear end. Yeah, exactly. And then the motor is ours, so it's a proprietary front. front so why motor. is the motor in the front? Uh, because it's the most efficient from a weight from a weight distribution perspective and it's a two-wheel drive bike. It allows us to have it ridden like a bike. Gotcha. So it doesn't compromise the ride quality. It allows us to keep it uh, lightweight. It's actually fully 50-50 balance from a car, from a wow. front and rear perspective. It keeps that weight right in the middle. So before I get on it, what's the name of this model? Go Cycle G4. The G4. Thank you, sir. Yep. All right, so my first impressions of this bike just like the gentleman just told me, I think it was off camera, this is more for being a purist experience where you're actually pedaling. There is no throttle, just pedaling and then assist in gear changing. I see a port for a phone. We are at Electrify Expo, and this is the EMAC Ford going through the hot lap, kicking it sideways to boot. <laughs> 